Hello and welcome to How to Play Cribbage. To play cribbage, you will need a cribbage board and a deck of cards. This video will start by going over the different aspects for two-player cribbage and then we'll put them all together for you to better understand the game. The video will finish with an example hand of cribbage. To determine the dealer, each player will cut the deck. The player with the lower card on the bottom of the cut is the first dealer. Each player is dealt a total of six cards but will only keep four of the cards to play with. Once each player has discarded two cards, the non-dealer will cut the deck and the dealer will flip the top card up. The objective of the game is to score points from different card combinations and be the first player to peg out. There are three different opportunities to score points. The pegging play, counting your hand, and counting the crib. During the pegging play, players can score points by the following ways. Landing on 15 or 31 is 2 points. Pairing up the opponent's card is 2 points. Playing the same card a third time is 6 points, and playing the same card a fourth time is 12 points. Creating a run is worth the amount of cards in the run. Creating a go is 1 point, and having the last card is 1 point. Players will alternate playing a card from their hand starting with the non-dealer. A running total will be kept by adding the card values together, and points are pegged when received. Face cards are worth 10 points, and each other card is worth its face value. The ace is worth 1. A running total cannot exceed 31 and will restart at 0 when needed. If a player cannot play without exceeding 31, he would say go. The play returns to the other player to continue playing cards. Once that player can no longer play a card, he pegs 1 for the go. Unless he was able to reach 31, then the player would peg 2. The player that plays the last card will peg 1. The next part of the game is counting your hand. Each player gets to use the flipped up card from the earlier cut when creating card combinations. Points are scored the following ways. Each card combination that adds up to 15 is 2 points. Each run of 3 is 3 points, each run of 4 is 4 points, and a run of 5 is 5 points. A pair is worth 2 points, a 3 of a kind is worth 6 points, and a 4 of a kind is worth 12 points. If all the cards in your hand are the same suit, it is 4 points. If the flipped up card is also the same suit as all the cards in your hand, it is 5 points. When you have a jack in your hand that is the same suit as the flipped up card from the deck, it is known as knobs and is one point. The non-dealer gets to count his hand first. In this example, player one has three combinations of 15 for two points each. Two runs of four for four points each. And a pair of eights for two points. This totals 16. Player 2 then counts his hand. He has one combination of 15 for 2 points, two runs of 3 for 3 points each, a pair of 6s for 2 points, and knobs for 1 point. This totals 11 points. The two cards each player discarded earlier forms the crib. The dealer of the hand gets to count the crib and is awarded the points for any card combinations. The crib points are the same as the hand counting points. This example crib has a pair of fours for two points. The ace is always low and has a value of one. If a jack is flipped up on the cut, the player who flipped it is awarded two points. During pegging play, a run can be made in any order, but it has to be within the same count of 31. 
For example, the playing of a 9, then 7, then 8 is a run of 3 and is worth 3 points. When counting your hand, state the total sum of your points as you go. For example, 15-2, 15-4, 15-6, pair for 8, and run of 3 makes 11. The first player to peg out is the winner, even if done in the middle of a round. Each player cuts the deck. The player with the lower card deals the first hand. Six cards are dealt to each player. Players decide the four cards to keep that will give them the most points and throw the other two cards into the crib. As the non-dealer, player two cuts the deck and player one flips up the top card. Pegging play begins with the non-dealer. Player two starts with 10. Player one adds 10 to make 20. Player two will add another 10 for 30. Player one plays his ace for 31 and two points. Player two starts with a five. Player one adds 10 for a 15 for two points. Player two adds his five to make 20. Player one plays his four for 24 and gets one point for last card. The non-dealer counts his hand first. Player two has a 15 for two, four, six, eight, 10, and 12, a pair for 14, and a pair for 16, and knobs make 17. Player two pegs 17. Player one then counts his hand. He has 15, two, four, six, and a three pair for six more makes 12. Player one pegs 12. Player one then gets to count the crib. The crib has 15, two, four, and a pair makes six. Player one pegs six. The deal now moves to player two. That wraps up how to play cribbage. As with most games, you will get better with practice. So don't be discouraged if it takes you a few games to catch on. Thanks for watching.